So I just wanted to make a quick video uh, with a couple of tips on working with velocity data and reason. I was just playing around with a little track and I was fumbling with velocity values because I had several MIDI notes in the same space uh, within a bar and I was having a tough time adjusting the value of the velocity notes because I kept changing the wrong ones and I didn't want to use. And I realized I just was not thinking and uh, I forgot that there's a way that you can adjust those, a couple of different ways that you can adjust velocity information for notes when they are all aligned and the bars kind of overlap one another. So that's kind of what sparked this video. But let's just jump into this. I'll cover a, a couple other things while I'm on this topic. So velocity information essentially is just uh, if it's, say, a piano, uh, in terms of MIDI, it's going to be how hard you strike those keys. So the harder you strike, the, the higher the velocity information is going to be, the softer, the lower. Um, for drums, it kind of translates into how hard you, say, hit a snare. So if you're using drum pads, however hard you hit the pad, the higher the velocity information is going to be. So within this drum uh, MIDI clip, I have, let's just say, um, well, in order to edit this information, the velocity within reason, you need to have the pencil tool active. So you, if you just hit W, you can get the pencil tool. Then just click, and uh, it will jump to wherever you're clicking. Or you can click and hold and drag it. And if you note, the color of the bar changes. So the higher the velocity, the darker the bar. Uh, and the actual MIDI note that this ties in with, the, the velocity bar, will change in color as well. So that just helps with giving you a quick reference for if you're looking up here and working with editing, you can see kind of what your values are, but to, to, depending on what the color of the MIDI note is. So uh, when you are working with the pencil tool and editing velocity information just know that you can hold down control and you get this these crosshairs here and you can click and hold and drag and create a vo velocity ramp like so now control z and get that back so but what initially prompted me to do this video is if you take note here, you know, I was doing some editing and I had a situation where both of these overlapped and I'm try sitting here trying to uh, alter the one behind this taller velocity bar and I, they kept jumping like that. And I felt silly because I know that uh, you can, if I hit Q, you can select uh, a MIDI note here and then bring up your tencil, pencil tool, hold shift, then while you're holding shift, it will only adjust the MIDI note that you have selected. So that could be a big time saver if you're ever finding yourself fumbling with this. Um, and most DAWs should have some sort of key command to help you do that. Alternatively, if I hit Q and select, say, this other one, you can just come to the, you don't have to bring up the pencil tool and hold down shift. You can also just come to the inspector, double click on the velocity value there and say, I'll put in 50 and you can see it changes it down there. So I'll double click and put in 80. So you can see, you can adjust it that way. If I want to adjust this one on the bottom, I select that. Let's put it on 80. Um, this could also work for multiple notes as well. So you could select three different notes, come in and change it to 127, and now they're all at full velocity. Oh, I put 121. So I guess it only goes to 121 for some reason. Um, So that's about it.
just a really brief video. I hope that that can help some of you out there that may have been struggling with the same thing or may have forgotten how you can adjust uh, your velocity values with uh, using a key combination or the inspector.